channel. Today we're going to be doing another DIY. Um, today's going to be a little bit more different because we're not actually going to be making something technically. We're going to just actually be painting something, which I think should be really fun. Um, I've never done something like this where I actually paint some of my clothes. Um, I don't even know how to tie dye that well. So I don't know if you guys seen like those denim jackets where people like paint on them. They paint on the back, the sleeves and stuff like that. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today, but the only thing is that I'm going to actually be using a red jacket that I thrifted from Goodwill. I just thought it'd be like a cool, cute twist versus just always using like the denim jacket. Um, actually, speaking of the denim jacket, I have a cool idea um, on what I'm going to do with one of mine. So I'm going to go ahead and make that video next week. So be sure to subscribe so you guys stay updated with my new different DIYs every week. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you guys how the jacket looks. All right, so this is how the jacket looks. I really like how it looks. I think the red is super cool. Um, I just think like the style down here is a little bit like weird. Like it kind of flares out, which is kind of eh. So I was thinking that I'm going to go ahead and maybe crop it wherever the pocket starts. So it, for me, it's right here. And then we're also going to go ahead and paint it. We're going to paint the back and we're also going to paint the sleeves. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so this is what I'm going to be using today. I'm going to just use a paper plate to go ahead and put paints. This is the fabric paint that I got from Walmart. I'm not sure if it works, I've never tried it, but we're gonna go ahead and check it out. You know, scissors to go ahead and crop the jacket, and then of course, paintbrushes to use the paint. I started off by cropping the jacket, and I actually ended up cropping below the pocket instead of on top of the pocket. So now that I cropped it, I really don't care if it's even or not, because I do want that distressed look. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and paint the back part white. So I'm just going to take this brush. I don't know, my sister had it. And I was like, okay, this is probably going to be good. So I'm just going to go ahead and start painting. Um, I'm not going to paint like super like straight and detailed because as I keep mentioning, I do want that distressed look on the back of this jacket. Okay, so this is how the first coat looks. Um, I think I'm going to let it dry a little bit and then add a little bit more white so it doesn't look so pink. It says to let dry for four hours, but that's freaking insane. That's a long time, but I guess. I let it dry all night because I ended up not coming back to this project. So I'm going to go ahead and add another coat. Okay, now that it's dry, dry, I'm going to go ahead and start writing my little quote. I'm going to use the black for the words. The quote that I'm going to be writing on my jacket is something very simple, but I just really enjoy. And that is be happy. So this is a kind of brush that I'm going to use. It's like really small. I'm going to go ahead and see how it works. Okay, so I quickly added another coat to the letters. Obviously, that's why they look a little bit more black. And I also just added some like random paint splatters around. Now I kind of want to move on to the sleeves. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to splatter paint all over the sleeves. This process is actually very messy. So I recommend using like a plastic bag or something in order for you to keep your workspace clean. At this point, you know, my workspace was already dirty, so I didn't care. I'll just clean it up after. So now that I've splattered paint on both of the arms from the back, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry in order for us to be able to move to the front of the arms. Now that the back dried, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the front sleeves. So I'm going to be using the same technique, which is just, you know, splattering the paint. After splattering the paint in the front, I feel like the front is just like too empty. So I'm going to add some white. So I'm going to paint like this whole thing where the buttons are white. Just so it's not like so red. Alright, so here is the jacket. I mean, I can't tell if it's like ugly or 
the cute ugly and it has like potential but i mean i guess here we are <laughs> if there's anything that we learned from this diy it's that at least we tried it and it's okay if it didn't come out as we wanted because you know at least we learned that this is just not working out or we learned how to make it better next time um and then i guess specifically for you guys at least you guys learn you can learn from my mistakes and you guys can go ahead and try this out or not try it out but at least you guys saw my results and how i did it so you know what it's okay we all learned something and you know what if you guys want to watch one of my more successful diys go ahead and check out these two videos right here all right guys so that's really all i have for this video if you guys haven't done so go ahead and subscribe down below so you guys can check out my other DIYs up these upcoming weeks. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.